I have faith that what he's going to do will be so good we won't even... Wow, remember. here he is, there everybody. He is. It's William Montgomery. Wow. There Beautiful. Incredible. Okie dokie. William Montgomery, everybody. Here we are. William God. Montgomery. First and foremost, I want to warn you all, I was in China last week. I was diagnosed with toxic sock syndrome. I had a uh, sock in my vagina. I went to jail in Monopoly, and there were black guys uh, who had been in there since the first chance card. I'm going to give a shout out to my eighth and ninth grade bully. You were right. Don't know why I didn't see it then. I guess my four eyes weren't better than two. <laughs> my parents surprised me with an early birthday gift. They're going to send me on an all expenses paid trip to the Betty Ford Clinic Resort and Casino. But no, y'all are in for a treat. My parents are actually here tonight. Larry and Francis, can y'all come up here? There you go, William Montgomery, everybody. There it is. Oh, here they come. Here come the Montgomerys, everybody. Fuck yeah. Very good, 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 good. Yep, that would, that's, that's a stinger. Yep, that's Hi, a stinger. Mr. Ladies Mr. and gentlemen, Mr. the Montgomerys are here, everybody. The Montgomerys. Larry and Francis, you hear about them almost every week on this show. And hello, sweetheart. How are you? I absolutely love these parents of uh, Williams. I'm a big fan of parents. Are these really his parents? Yeah, they're the oh, real wow. deal. Yeah, they're yeah. really my fucking they, parents. I don't, yeah. they, look so, <laughs> yeah. they look so sweet and nice and normal. I know. Hey, William, where the fuck were you? <laughs> Tony normally fucking calls me around 9.30. Yes. My man, Larry. What happened? Can Larry have that microphone? <laughs> Please. Me, are you guys about to have an argument right now? I'll probably get disbarred for that, but <laughs> it was worth it. Come on up there. Step up there, Larry. Step up next to your beautiful son. I think it's your son. Either that or your wife fucked a local coal miner while you were working. <laughs> Get up here. Are you surprised with how Williams turned out? What's, uh, what are the positives and negatives? What do you, lo what do you love and uh, hate about uh, your son? Uh... <laughs> it's a live show, people. I don't plan any of this. I, don't know. I, I, I knew he was going to be different. This is a true story because in, in ninth grade, there was a talent show at his high school, and some people were playing the guitar, some people were singing. He comes out with a stick with a ribbon on the end of it, and to some fucked up song, uh, dances around the stage and does the stick and the ribbon. And when it was over, the other parents would not make eye contact with me. It was... <laughs> it is the craziest world we live in, where uh, one of the comedian's fathers comes up and kills harder than any of the comedians did all night. This is a wild world, this comedy business, I'll well, tell with you. Well, with the crew so far, that's not a big deal. <laughs> I love it. We have had some interesting bucket pulls. Uh, so how's life been? We miss you guys. You guys are out in beautiful Tennessee. From Memphis. Yeah. Here, came here and yeah. seeing William and his mama's cooking good food for him. And Had spaghetti uh, Saturday night. Had a good steak last night. There was a group of blacks having a party. Wait a second. A Wait a second. William, I don't think that's what you're supposed to. I don't think that's how you refer to them. What do you mean? What, what kind of party were they? I think you're they? technically right, but <laughs> it's what, technically it's just a technical Just carrying term. on. I was trying to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> what, what else have you been doing with your parents, William? What else has been going on? You had spaghetti. You had steak. Yeah. What else have you Other than to? noticing the blacks, what else has been happening? <laughs> well, the, it, when we stay somewhere, we have to warn the management that this person coming to see us is not a homeless person. Right? Yeah. He's right. our son. Yeah. yeah. When he visits the hotel. <laughs> Seriously. It's I love it. Son. <laughs> 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 
does he ever does he ever jump in bed with you guys? You, guys, you seem like the kind of family that might sleep Willy Wonka style, just you know, feet to head and. It's happened. <laughs> that was a fun noise, right, Ben? Oh, thank you. That's the enema noise. The what? <laughs> <laughs> this really pisses uh, William's mom off. She wants everyone to know that she used to give enemas to William as a child. Oh. Anytime he got the flu. And like William only remembers four of them, but we called his brother up, and he's got like 15 of them before. <laughs> Wow, look who loves flushing her boys' assholes out. My goodness. It's a real problem, huh? Look at that, the old catch and release. Yeah. Look at you, the old fucking... Come on, what are they talking about? What? what? are they talking about? Explain yourself. Why, why would you give your kids so many enemas? He's lying. He's lying, she said. I love your little I don't know. I, 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 I kind of believe him on this one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because he, he doesn't. He said this he doesn't just use... doesn't happen. Something makes this. <laughs> yeah, something creates this. Yeah, he, yeah. He said he doesn't use Do toilet have, paper, I, so I, that's where that started. Yeah. Do you guys have other? You have other children? We have two good. other sons. Well, good, 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 good. Yeah. Okay. What well, do good. they do? What do they do? They uh, hit, one's a lawyer. And, and, about to graduate from and college. And one's about to graduate from college. And then there's just this bastard over right. here. This, this do-nothing bitch working at a storage facility that is holding yeah, he a has bag. A, he has the name of like a Southern Civil War general. Yeah. You, should, you were supposed to be an accomplished racist. He has the... Oh, no. he has Not the, just a garden variety racist. Like you, your house should have had columns. He has the everything of a Southern Civil War general, by the yeah, way. Yeah, he does. Yeah. I do. Thank you all so much. Ah, you're welcome. <laughs> William, have you made any advancements or major decisions in your life this week? You're holding yourself back in a great many ways. Uh, you're holding your career back yeah, with your day I job and then your current relationship. Is broke there any... up with her. I've been sad about that. Oh, broke you... up with her. Oh, that's good. When's the last time you spoke with her? Uh, last night. Oh, uh... her... <laughs> <laughs> Is that No, true? I'm kidding. It's not true. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, right. We're true. going to the LA Fitness tomorrow to oh, yeah. join his ass up. Oh, that's right. great! He I said love he already that. joined. <laughs> yeah, he was yeah. lying about it. Yeah, yeah. he no, lies he about everything. Did he ever go to his doctor's appointment? Did we get? I, I think he really did. Yeah. Did you get results? Did you see anything from a doctor? Yeah, they said he had really high cholesterol, <laughs> but but don't worry about it because he had Ebola, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> <laughs> Finding out William has high cholesterol is like the doctor saying that William has red hair. Um, it's like, we know, right? Wonder, Let's check in with John Lennon. I wonder I, how who could do more push-ups. There you go. Let's who, check in with John Lennon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I just want to say, William, before we get to the push-up off, um, <laughs> How truly much of a wreck your life has to be when your parents fly in from another state to sign you up for a gym. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to a gym to sign you up to make sure you don't lie and say you're going when you're really not. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. William Montgomery. John. John. Oh, I just heard his mom whisper in his ear, I'm going to give you a fucking enema. That's Wait. what I heard. I don't know if you guys heard that. Waits for his enema <laughs> while his mother comes near. No one will hear. My goodness I gracious. Just, uh, Tony, can I just say I want everyone to know that William is the walrus we were talking about. <laughs> Ouch. His yeah, this has his... turned out just out. Quit fucking talking. His pubic hair is definitely strawberry fields forever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what can I say? I could talk oh, with gosh. you three absolutely forever. Is there anything else uh, I should know about or check in with? Everything's good. I fucking love you guys. You're uh, the best. It's a, it's a fun project being yeah. working with William. Oh, thank you. Wait, enema for me too? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Wow, she Mrs. just Montgomery. said that. <laughs> I love how mad she gets about it. She's like, say it one more time, and I will squeeze stuff out of your asshole. Uh, <laughs> Guys, how loud can this place get for the Montgomerys, everybody? Larry, Francis, William. It's a family affair on Kill Tony, live at the Comedy Store. 
very, very exciting stuff so far. And before we go back to the bucket, we're going to uh, get our first regular up here, ladies and gentlemen. This guy, one of the uh, longest standing regulars in the show's history, uh, loved by many, hated by few. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the one and the only Big Red Machine, William Montgomery, everybody. Here he comes. <laughs> Come on, guys. Make some noise for William, everybody. Here he is. Let me hear y'all make some noise if you're from Saipan, Indiana. I actually uh, have a Bluetooth now. I was punched in the face last night. Uh, my parents said my first words were mom and papa, and my last words to them were, the bungee cord feels a little loose. <laughs> uh, yes, I'd like to order a t-shirt, Cannon, please. Uh, that's an impression of me at the gun store. <laughs> Pro tip, after the teller wipes away the tears and slowly hands you the money as you have the gun in her face, don't ask for the deposit slip. How many bank robbers we got in the crowd tonight? <laughs> Fuck yes, William Montgomery coming in, showing how it's done. Rapid fire setups and punchlines, like a goddamn professional. You Donnell, are... I have to say I loved you in the movie Ghost. <laughs> he... I'm not fucking with you because everything you said when I saw you at Crocs, I believed everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, if you can rock Crocs, you can assemble a fucking AK-47. That's true. Like, I believe you. You got manuals and shit, bro. Yeah, that's I do I have you. manuals and shit. Yep. William, you are really <laughs> starting to fill out that T-shirt you're wearing. I don't know. I've you... actually lost 20 pounds. How'd you lose 20 pounds? What did you do? What tumor did you have removed from your belly to where you lost 20 pounds? A tumor in my ear. It was something that was affecting my hearing. No, I'm kidding. I've just been working out real hard. I, uh, what have you been doing to work out? Doritos and donuts. Competitive hot dog eating competition. What did you just fucking say? I said. <laughs> Doritos, donuts. Oh, wow. and you guys literally have the same build. Darlene's pregnant. Look at this. Belly to belly. Like a suplex. Oh. Look at this magical moment. Hey, that's my girl. Watch this, man. <laughs> my si that's my fucking sister. You better watch your fucking ginger my ass. Who the fuck said that? Me. I said that. That was Joel. That uh, was me. That was Travis Plow. Travis, nice to see you. You guys seem like you're all related up here. You you know these white trash people? It's like Hatfield and McCoys or whatever up man, here. Man, I usually get Xanax from this guy to La Quinta Inn in Arizona, man. <laughs> I do. If y'all are ever in Scottsdale, I uh, work at a room 217 Fuck. at the La Quinta. I'm selling Xanax bars. I'm selling certs. I'm selling Butterfingers. William, and you got your plane tickets to uh, Houston, Texas, correct? You're going to be at Skank Fest? I did, going to the Skank Fest. How else is life going? Your parents went back home to Tennessee. How do you feel now that they're gone? I don't know. I feel a little lost. Yeah? Tell us um, about it. I don't know. The night before they left, I was laying in bed with my mother. She was <laughs> reading me. So casual. Some, what'd you just say? So casual. Yeah, I mean, it was casual. We were hanging out. And that's what's casual about me saying it's so casual. It was casual. Just Francis and I laying in the bed. She was reading, <laughs> reading me some Shel Silverstein lines. I don't... No, if y'all read Shell Silver, but yeah, I mean, now that they're gone, Tony. Quite frankly, I've I've been a little down. Yeah, I tell me about it. Why? Why are you sad all of a sudden? <laughs> that was Red Band. That was funny. <laughs> Why have you been that sad lately, good. William? Why have you been sad lately? I'm still getting over the young lady issue. Oh, but you've been holding strong. You haven't been communicating with her. I haven't. We fucked last night. Oh, other than, uh, that, <laughs> <laughs> other than that, we haven't really been talking. 
But so yeah, last cool. night I ejaculated inside of her pussy. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I was hitting it raw. I currently have hepatitis C and B. Wow. You ejaculated into her pussy, and somehow you ended up pregnant. That's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, William. Another fun new minute. Anything else for William, anybody? There he goes, the great William right, Montgomery, thanks. everyone. I'm going to keep it moving along. On to the next one. On to the next one. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get one of our regulars up here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, last night in La Jolla, we had two shows. David, is he ready? Uh, last night in La Jolla, we had two shows, and uh, David Lucas and Michael Lair were able to make it down there, uh, both with both of their conditions. However, this guy wasn't for some reason. Um, he wasn't able to get a ride, according to him. Even though he has a car. Right. Uh, so here we are. We're going to find out all about it after we see his set. Very polarizing figure, but uh, he's been really killing it lately. Make some noise for the great William Montgomery, everybody. Oh. <laughs> Guys, make some fucking noise for William Montgomery. I've, uh, I've actually had a uh, really hard week this past week. I was uh, just rejected from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids on Ice. Uh, I've started smoking a, a new type of marijuana. It's called permanent unemployment. If cocaine were an astrological sign, it would be, where's the fucking cocaine? People always talk about how they miss Rick Moranis, that they wish uh, he was in more movies. And it's like, yeah, maybe you forgot he shrunk his fucking kids and didn't go to jail. <laughs> no, but seriously, Tony, I wasn't able to make it because I, I have the coronavirus. <laughs> uh, I was given this hazmat suit from the nice people at Walgreens. There you go, William Montgomery, everybody. That's the hazmat suit that they gave you? It is, yeah, yesterday I couldn't make it to La Jolla. I was uh, not only uh, diagnosed with coronavirus, but also mesothelioma. Oh, wow, and they, they gave you a beekeepers? <laughs> with no gloves? <laughs> <laughs> fully exposed that net supposed to keep everything safe yeah they gave me this um Where i was actually i was patient zero in the pier one imports in calabasas <laughs> i don't know if you've read about that that was me i was coughing all over everything y'all don't go in the bathroom i was coughing all over the sink you have such an interesting method to your madness. Uh, sometimes you'll come out guns a-blazing with a reference that I haven't heard in decades. Uh, during 60 seconds of comedy, uh, during this, you referenced Honey, I Shrunk the Kids twice. <laughs> Two different, completely different <laughs> jokes with a different joke in between them. Uh, did something happen this week where perhaps you saw that movie or... We're reminded of it. Is that what you did while we were doing shows in La Jolla without you? Yeah, no, last night I actually watched the movie My Girl, and when Macaulay Culkin got killed by bees, it scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Hence the suit. So I got this suit at the Pier 1 Imports in Calabasas. Um, I, it just killed me. Macaulay and that girl he was with, when he died, I started crying last night. Horrible nightmare. I'm actually burning up. I've been wearing this all fucking day. <laughs> My face is incredibly hot right now. Chrissy Mayer, uh, this is a, a fellow ginger of yeah. yours. Um, yeah. It looks more like, honey, I shrunk the recessive genes. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to try that again? <laughs> oh, William. Okay. What You're the fuck that was me? that? William, You're do me like that, nice. ginger brother. You're going to do me like that. <laughs> be nice, William. Be nice. Here, let me, let me help you tag that joke. I, uh, I obviously got the recessive gene. Interesting thing is both of my parents are black. <laughs> Very good. Wow. I knew I didn't <laughs> like this guy. <laughs> You do like them, Paula? No, I knew I did not. What uh -oh. the fuck are you talking about? I'm sick right now. Yeah, get away from us. We don't need to catch whatever you got okay, going thanks. on there. Okay, thanks. 
All right, William. Uh, another fun set. Always innovative. Always interesting. Uh, yeah. Uh, I was just saying it's a very B average set. <laughs> that was the great. <laughs> let it soak. Guy Fieri, <laughs> let it soak. <laughs> William, over here. Uh, so realistically, why couldn't you make it to La Jolla yesterday? It's two hours south of here. If, I, if I'm literally going to be frank with you right now, I made the drive to the new Cracker Barrel. It's probably an hour's drive. It was an, another hour's long wait. It was another hour's long drive back. At one point in time, I was thinking I was having a heart attack. I had a real hard night the evening before. I was on stimulants. I was drinking butt ice. Uh, I almost had to pull over my Ford Taurus. I literally thought I was having a heart attack. It turned out my pec muscle was uh, just stimulated, if you want to call it that. It was, it was twitching. It wasn't my actual heart. Right. Yeah. I fucking love this story. <laughs> <laughs> having a false alarm heart attack on the way back from Cracker Barrel is the most American song I can think of. Oh, uh, that's a Brooks and Dunn hit right there. Okay, well, that's good. That's a question for William Montgomery. So I'll tell you what. Why don't we do something fun here um, and uh, bring up a regular, everybody. Yep. And uh, you know him as a very controversial character. People say they love him. People say they absolutely despise him. You never know what you're going to get. And watch the chord when you come up here. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise or really... I guess a couple people in the room can maybe clap. Make some noise for William Montgomery, everybody. Here he is. Here he is. Watch the cord, William. There you go. Oh. Here he is, everybody. William Montgomery. Let's give it up for Jimmy Buffett, Turks and Caicos. Whatever happened to Cotton Eye Joe, Turks and Caicos? I'm waiting for the laughter to subside after that one. Um, now we're going to love this next one. Uh, what did Rick Marinas tell his wife after he joined ISIS? Um, honey, I blew up the kids. <laughs> Uh, they just released a new bungee jumping video game on VHS. It's super hard. <laughs> is it just me or is Major League Baseball way more exciting when cheating is involved? Is it just me or is marriage way more exciting when cheating is involved? William Montgomery, everybody. You did it again. Hell yeah. And in the end, it doesn't even matter. Wow, I you am wiped sick your as shit. You just wiped your face after wiping. I am wiping. sick as shit. You sick? You just wiped your face. I have a fever. William, you just wiped your face with the same cloth you cleaned the microphone with. Did Do you the math on that one. I'm sick. How long have you been sick for? Two days. What are your symptoms? I've been in quarantine in a cavern system in Middle Tennessee for two days now. My symptoms are coughing a lot. I have something called pink foot. There you go. Brian's it's putting on his sleep apnea machine for this. Uh. <laughs> I have something called pink foot. It's a lot like uh, pink eye, but my foot uh, just itches a bunch. Let's check in with the great Jeremiah Watkins. Uh, can I just say, so we, uh, William and Joel did, uh, we all did a show together at Huntington Beach Rec Room Oh, yeah, on how'd Saturday. that go? That was fun. It was actually great. There was like a good turnout. There was like 80 people there. It was too there. many blacks. Okay, William. Okay. Way too many blacks. I don't trust them. I'm from the Dominican Republic. Your best DR. friend is David Lucas. You guys are brothers in cursive. He <laughs> Okay, go, let's go back to Jeremiah. Don't cut off Jeremiah, William. So the show's going great. William goes up there. The first thing he does, like, he, he is riffing on the previous guy who brought him up, CJ Landry, and it's going well. And the next thing out of William's mouth is he goes, 
I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm feeling very feverish right now. It I gets inspected. A- shut up, William. It gets absolutely nothing really? from the crowd. And wow. I was dying in the back. Yeah. It was so perfect because the crowd literally looked around like, are we at risk right now? Wow. <laughs> because William just sold it. He just, he didn't, they didn't know him yet. No one laughed. He's got good acting chops. I it's followed great. it up with, I've been going to a bunch of gay bars recently. I'm looking for my dad. And some bitch in the audience said something, and I said, "What are you a faggot?" Wow, there you go, a little bit of yeah. F- uh, I taped the shows, and William didn't ask me for the tape afterwards. <laughs> wow. <laughs> William, what do pe- you mean? I need it. Pe- pe- I need it, Jeremiah. <laughs> uh, okay, William. <laughs> sure, I'll Dropbox it to you right I away. I need it. Uh, okay. I'm sick. Yeah, I know. Wow, I, think I can't feel my feet. Yeah, you have pink foot. Okay. I also so have here's cough. a question. We actually, we actually have a question for you, uh, William, from a fan. They want to know, does William wear underwear? And if so, when was the last time they were washed? So answer that question for the I'm fans. I'm actually sponsored by Joe Boxers. I get a bunch of money every month from Joe Boxers. I'm it's funny cur- that you, it's funny that you've never mentioned the sponsorship before on the on the main show that you did. I thought tonight I would finally say it. I'm <laughs> sponsored by Joe Boxer. They give me five thousand dollars a month. I'm currently living <laughs> in a rented out house in Malibu. I don't know how to turn the alarm off. I'm constantly walking in the front door. The alarm starts going off. There you go. All right. Very good. Uh, so what else has been going on in life? What are you doing in your real life uh, since uh, this coronavirus thing has happened? I kn- we know you're not quarantined in a cavern. Are you still working at the storage unit, William? I am still working like, there. Like I right now after with everything that's going I on? I work there today. I hope none of my uh, superiors see this. I'm thinking Thursday I'm going to pretend being sick you so have I pretend. can have it a week off. You can just say you just don't feel comfortable working. And I think that's a legit thing to say to somebody. That Someone you're today literally at the storage unit place, he argued with me over how much he owed. And then he told me he was just at the doctor because he had a fever last night. And the doctor said he didn't have a fever. It scared me. Huh. There's no joke to that. It scared me. I might have COVID right now. It's weird. I have a, a cousin, Taylor, COVID. He's in the Turks and Caicos. He is a, a black person. He's a big fan of Jimmy Buffett. Oh, very good. I know they closed all the gyms. Uh, did you, when your parents flew out here to get your gym membership, did you get to go to the gym at all? I was able to uh, pump some iron, and by that, I mean sit out in my vehicle and look up videos of engineering feats. Another question for you, William. This one came in from my actual, uh, the only person to ever get a standing ovation for a set on their way to the stage and after their set. My mother, Mrs. Hinchcliffe, sent in a question, what sent in said. a few questions actually, and one of them was for William Montgomery. My mom wanted to know. Did you go to a real doctor or Dr. Seuss? <laughs> she actually wrote that. She's unbelievable. Well, I didn't know. I went into the doctor with a messed up arm, and then the doctor said, I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. Your arm looks broken. Going to need a stint. Well, that was a good one. Hey, there it is. There's I'm kidding. No, I went to a real doctor, though. <laughs> there you go. William, did you choke while you said Did you hear that? Right. I'm sick right now. Dude, go. that choke killed me. I'm <laughs> sick. Yeah, if there was an audience in here, I would have had to pause for two minutes. Yeah. No, it's For the true. laughter on that one. That's hey, true. Can you wink at a few of them, William? The people that are in yeah. here? Yeah. Give wink, them a for the listeners. Is this the best camera that we have up on, uh, on William? Hey, David, fucking fix it, you bitch. That's great. We'll zoom in and post or something. David, I'm kidding. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? All right. Is well. that from The Purge? That's so great. This is the weirdest fucking <laughs> episode ever. I, like I love it. it. 
Oh, you think so? You think the episode with no audience is the weirdest one, Joel? Wow, what a hot take. Creative genius. Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez. Just play the drums, bitch. Who is that? Is that Come David on, Deary? faggot. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm oh, kidding. That's a uh, joke thing I'm working on. <laughs> I'm that? not actually homosexual, but I found if you say faggot during a set, there's oh a God. chance people will laugh. That is true. What's the most homosexual thing you've ever done in your life, William? I kissed a guy. Yeah, when did that happen? Two weeks ago, I was in a hot tub. I started making out. He touched my penis. I touched his. And then what happened? He said peanuts. I had to, yeah, peanuts. Touch his peanuts. Huh? Keep going, keep going, William. And then what happened? I had to fly to the Turks and Caicos the next day. I was jet lagged to say the. Okay. Michael, Michael Lehrer has, has something to say about oh, what yeah. William's dad pumped his sperm into two eggs and ham. There you go. Can I read you all a poem by Shel Silverstein I love? Uh, you have that. God damn it, my phone's over there. You have that all queued up? It's okay. Maybe we can do it later. Why don't you sit, on the, uh, why don't you sit down and join us on the, uh, on the edge of can the I? stage there? Yeah, just sit in front of Joel's drum set over there. Let's so I that. noticed that you're drinking a 7-Up. That's part of absolutely set. not 7-Up. It is uh, absolute and 7-Up. Here, put the, put the mic back. Absol- <laughs> <laughs> put the mic back in the mic stand there and grab a seat. Just sit on that ledge right in front of Joel's drums it's over there. Seven you're going to be up. right in the frame. It's seven be fucked beautiful. up. I like that. There you go. How about how about another hand? Look at that. Look how cute he is. How about another hand for William Montgomery? William, you okay? What's wrong, William? <laughs> I heard we have to answer a riddle from him before we leave the stage yeah, tonight. Y'all did the. Uh, go ahead. Y'all did the. Go ahead, William. It's okay. That's pretty funny. If, be, if there were an audience, they left. Yeah, well, the camera is I would, so uh, incredibly far away that nobody can see what's happening. Sex with a lady who wore all red. Uh, her last name was a city in California, Carmen San Diego. Oh, you did? There he goes, William Montgomery, everybody. What an exciting time. William's back. Did you get your phone? Did you? I have been watching a movie about a car that when he talks, he uses his headlights. It's called Herbie the Lubbock. Okie dokie, there he is. Hey, I wanted to ask you something, William. Yeah. I noticed that you post a lot of videos of you watching old TV shows uh, at late at night. Do you have cable, or are you one of those guys that have the antennas that watch like weird, you know, TJ Hooker antenna? And, yeah, that's what I thought. Absolutely. Can I say one? You you know what? Oh wait, William probably knows a lot. Come on, He's William. religious. Sing us a uh, sing us a church hymn yeah. that you remember. They used to make us sing them. Even the non-Catholics at my school, they would Church and Caicos. Go ahead, William. Sing the song. Lord, I lift your name on high. <laughs> Lord, I love to sing your praises. <laughs> you know this? Sing it with them. I'm Lord, so I glad lift you're your in name my on... life. Who's messing that up? I'm Lord, so I glad you came to need your save presence. us. Amen. Jesus is my God. I'm standing here tonight <laughs> to worship you. I think I am sick with the virus, God. Please help me tonight. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. Wow. wow. Unbelievable. We just got word that you sang so well to Jesus that the rain has stopped and coronavirus has ended. William has something he wants to say. It's called sure. a substitute brother, teacher. It's ex. called a drive-by. <laughs> <laughs> Your brother David, in curse of William David, Montgomery. David, this is a, uh, a roast joke from my father, Larry. Oh. Uh, he says, David Lucas may never roast you, but if he does, say, I see a lot of Denzel Washington... And you, no, seriously, did you swallow Denzel Washington? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Larry, you look like Freddy Krueger's daddy. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> For anybody who's seen him. Uh, so I'm not going to do like air, fr- air fryer. Can I, can I tell everyone out, all 30,000 people watching from the Turks and Caicos with their swimming pants on, 
David, I want to tell everyone tonight, when you invited me over to your apartment, I made out with your baby mama. I didn't care. I took my swim trunks off. I, she saw my penis. It was inverted into my tummy. I had web feet. I had tevas. I had goggles. I had swim caps. I had you name it. I had it. <laughs> She was talking to me, David, my only point to you is right now, when you go to New York and you're hollering at young ladies, just remember me hollering at your young lady. Wow, look at that. Hey, Will, you one guy I wouldn't mind my baby mama fucking. Because <laughs> I ain't got shit to Do you look. believe that? Hell yeah, I know she's still coming back. David, <laughs> what are the what are the chances of you and I having sex with some girl we meet off the streets just both raw dogging her <laughs> with reckless abandon? I'm drinking my seven up and vodka, not giving a fuck, just slapping her around. You say, William, you have to stop, you're gonna kill her, and I keep hitting her in the face. David, I just hope that happens. <laughs> <laughs> she would have to be black. That's the only girl. I, I can't do a threesome with a white girl because they might holler rape. William, have you ever had sex with a black girl before? I'm trying to get this black girl to fuck me, but she saw his dick on me. <laughs> That's all it takes. <laughs> no, but seriously, what do y'all think? Could I pull it off? Nah, nigga, you ain't got no I have a very average sized penis. I have webbed feet. Uh-huh. I have to wear earplugs. Do you really I have webbed feet? You said it like 30 times that, no, to the point where I want to see those I, feet. I, I've asked before, and I've actually seen them on this show. He was wearing, uh, he's, he, has a, he has a knack for wearing Crocs, and I asked to see his webbed feet. He pulled it out, and I pretended like they were webbed, but they were very, but very... But y'all just... <laughs> they're, y'all it, just however, they, they did look like Hobbit's feet, like they were very hairy and unkempt. But would y'all watch that movie, just David and I just remixing the Herbie the Love Bug movie, and David and I... Maybe if you grow some double. eyebrows. Whoa. What the fuck do you mean, Red Band? You know exactly what I did. I've had my Th best fucking sack. Well, yeah, no, no, not with those eyebrows. I've gotten you sick tonight, bitch. Yeah, I just saw the spit fly on my nose. <laughs> I'm sick tonight, All Red right, Band. All right, William, sit, sit. There you go. Sit back down, William. William old crazy uh, David's ass. fucking brave grabbing that after, dude. Come on. What are you, the, what are you, nah, the fun bro. police over here? <laughs> William, what's going on? What's the problem? I think We're William pushed up. David right now. Yeah, Two weeks ago, I had sex with David's cousin in the Philippines. Okay, William. We All right, there goes William. I just sanitized the mic. David, why don't you grab a seat next to, uh, next to William? Doing? There you go. William, stop! William, stop horse playing around. Stop horsing! <laughs> oh, he's stop. winking Whoa, at the us. The wings! <laughs> no, Whoa! He's, <laughs> he's all amped up over here. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. William, give the microphone to David. He'll use it responsibly. <laughs> Oh, wow. This is another question from a fan. This is actually for William. You could answer it pretty quickly and easily. William, are you having a boy or a girl? I am having an abortion. <laughs> oh, wow. I had sex with a Filipino girl three years no, ago. No, we heard that already. Hand it back to David. Yeah. How about William? I am a fan of uh, that milk that is not too high in fat. I think it's called skim milk. I met some... Filipino bitch. Uh, we okay, there you go. Back Wait, to David. Janet. If you want to? Go ahead, William. Lay right across. Lay right across this table hey, here. Can we, do you have somewhere? Not the table. This floor right here. Don't can, trip on any cords. Lay. Yep. That hey, Tony, way. Tony, I got a question. Yep. William thinks he can beat me in arm wrestling. Can we get that table? Absolutely. Now, nope. next, you guys. Well, wait, 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 wait. I'd rather see that. Yeah, Will. Say wait, wait, energy. William, 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 Will, William, Will. William. I <laughs> yes, you Save can. Save your energy. You thought you could beat me yeah. in arm wrestling. You guys set up a table here, and uh, let's have a little arm wrestling match. Uh, the first ever Kill Tony. I mean, David Lucas is... Watch that cord. Watch that cord. There you go. David, da uh, here. You guys come up here. David, you help set this up. Do we have a, another question? Whatever happens, William, don't get... So 
Don't yep. get too ding, don't get so into it that you turn your hat around backwards. Just watch that chord, please. Because that will unlock a uh, William Montgomery that we've never seen before. This is very exciting. The first ever Kill Tony arm wrestling match. Whoa! Oh. He turned the hat backwards. The hat I got, is I got all the money in the world on David Sylvester Lucas. Sylvester Stallone guy. style. You. Does huh? any? Does anybody? I got five have, on David Lucas. Does any? <laughs> Does anybody I feel have like William? You're both gonna pass out in two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think William might actually surprise us. Whoa! Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> I need to do that. Okay, hold on. Let's just keep it nice and low. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Joel's Joel's gonna hold on. And when I say, okay, you guys good? You guys like your position? All right. Ready, set, go. <laughs> William totally, William totally tried to cheat there. <laughs> no. Okay, okay, okay. No, it's okay. It's. Uh, <laughs> it's not even happening. William's just trying to cheat to win wow. here. Wow. Kill Tony Arm. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> <laughs> David, help hey, Janice, us. Janice, uh, you want to see Janice William, to do it? William, Watch the court. You, Watch the court. William, do you think you can beat anybody else on stage? Joel? Joel, I think. Oh, okay. Here we go. No, no. Let's let, let's let William. Uh, let's see what happens here with William. I'm going to pull. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Ready, set, go. Oh, come on, Joel. Oh, Joel, conserving energy here. Whoa. Wow. I'll do it. I'll go up against you, William. I'm extremely Here, strong. let me try to do it. Whoa! I'm sorry, all the blood I have is in my dick. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Red band. <laughs> Ready, set. What are you afraid of? <laughs> oh! Ready, all right, set. I want a rematch. <laughs> oh, it's incredible. <laughs> Dude, Brian just almost <laughs> broke William's wrist. <laughs> okay, Jeremiah, <laughs> favorite character you've ever done? Great question from the fans. Broad and beautiful question. Very hard. I mean, I that's another one where like I have like you guys don't worry about that. Let David Deary grab all that stuff. You go sit back down. <laughs> oh, William, you can't <laughs> William, don't. <laughs> he's fucking with you, David. <laughs> Just sit down, William. William, sit down. Relax. Good grief. <laughs> Favorite. William, sit. William, sit down and shut up. This isn't Brothers in Cursive. Shut the fuck up. Sit down. I'm going to choke you to sleep, dude. Would be the one. William, go ahead. I'm going off of Jeremiah in regards to just accents. Just in bloody old England, probably my best accent is, Oh, Ebony's. Yep. Ebony. It's you, it's you baby. Ebony. Uh, Jeremiah, something athletes, I've learned from going can, on the road. William, did I give you permission to talk right Tony, now? Tony, I'm so sorry. Okay, but now go ahead. You behaved yourself. Go ahead. Jeremiah, what I appreciate, you're a skinny dude. I'm a fat dude. I eat a bunch. Seems like you eat a bunch. Seems like you have sort of different ideals in regards to what goes in your burrito. You're a picky eater. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like You're a, a picky eater. I don't like uh onions and I don't like cilantro on anything. There you I, go. I don't put those in my burrito. And onions. At all. Onions, right? Onions, yeah. Onions and cilantro. No you don't go. like French onion soup? 
I don't really like it too can much. We, I tried it. It's all right. Like I can do wow. onion rings and I can do like sauteed onions. Like, like peppers I can do, and onions. I can do animal. I don't get onions anal? with the Did peppers. You say anal? Anal. You, can, you can do anal. Animal style oh. at uh, at In and Out. Oh, I, yeah. I I'll, I'll get like the the animal style where it's like the fried onions on the fries. Like that. Those don't bother but me. Like but a steak burrito. Let's say you got steak, cheese, salsa. You no, like salsa? I don't like. If it's their, if it's like their uh, chunky salsa, no go. I like what about that I like, white I like sauce? Blended salsa. What's up? What about the white sauce? What's that called? Sour cream? Do you get that on there? I like sour cream. Each other under the bus. Now. Joel's His grandfather is Hispanic. Okay, William. <laughs> hand, the the micro- fuck up. hand the microphone to David. I do. I I do this thing where when when Joel and I kind of noodles. Hey, red band. Oh. Remember? <laughs> yeah. Can I say Remember? one thing? Yeah. Ramen noodles. I got. It. Yeah. Can I say one thing? Yes. Just I swear to God, where I met David Lucas, just the Kill Tony in San Francisco. I swear to God, red band. When you threw the bucket at me, when you were far too drunk, just going after me, oh, yeah. yelling at me, just that was... it scared me. I thought you and I were buddies. Oh, you and think you were scared about that? How do, how do you think I felt? No, that was knowing Tony's that, worst. Tony, I'm going to say pe- this to the 30,000 okay, people watching. Tony, I love you so much. Okay, hand the microphone back But it was back very to interesting hand watching you at that moment. David, right now. <laughs> David, do not give him, don't give that back to him. Now you have to ask fucking permission because you're a retard. <laughs> okay, let's check in with William Montgomery. Conspiracy theories that you believe this in. This is a text from my father. He's watching this. He said, now is probably a good time to shut the fuck up. Love, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> He's hey, Larry. absolutely right. He's absolutely right. You have right. the best parents, by the way, William. Yes, you really do. Indeed. <laughs> William says he has something that's very urgent. Okay, William. Go ahead. This is a proof of your... I, d- I did comedy in Denver two and a half years before I moved here. Uh-huh. I've been here now two years. There's a guy, Zach Reinert. He's probably not watching this, but he told me we were doing a show in Nebraska. Make it longer. So- make, the, make the thing longer that you have to say. That he sold a joke to that guy, and it was literally the uh-huh. hit, being drunk, doing a DUI checkpoint, okay. hitting it too hard... It was so interesting hearing Very that. Very good. Hand the fucking microphone back to David. God, you are a train wreck, dude. My God. Oh, my God. You are unbelievable. Do it real quick. William, does the thing you want to talk about have to do with what we're talking about it right now? It has here? to do with the movie Poltergeist Okay, two. there you go. Go ahead. There you go. Hand it back to David. Can I say one thing, though? Go ahead. These pieces of shit on YouTube. Nope, there you I'm go. I'm sure Can't there's a the number of them watching off. right now. There you go. Hey. Like that. Okay, what, what's the text from your dad, William? Uh, please hush. You're irritating the shit out of everybody. <laughs> Sit still and listen. Put your fucking hand down. There you go. Absolutely. I agree with that. That's so smart. He ain't gonna listen. Let's take another question. Or should we, you know what? Why don't we go with our third regular? Can we do that? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, let's grab them. <laughs> we have a we have a third regular everybody. <laughs> everybody Jason knows Zero. them, loves them, a compelling character. We never know what is going to happen. Make some noise for the great William <laughs> Montgomery Crazy. everyone. Here he is. You hear that music, you know it's on. Here he is, William Montgomery everybody. Let me hear your bass of noise if you got the coronavirus. <laughs> Uh, that's an impression of me last night. I was actually DJing at an all-black church in Atlanta. <laughs> I made a horrible mistake in quarantine today. I uh, watched uh, Forrest Gump for the first time. That is a tearjerker. God, when Bubba dies uh, in that scene in, the, scene in the jungle. Uh I wish Axl Rose would marry Bella Thorne so at least one rose would have a thorn. (laughs) I actually made a horrible mistake in quarantine. Earlier today I watched 101 Dalmatians for the first time. But I do, I honestly think I am sick. (laughs) I do, I am not feeling good. Oh my goodness. 
Wow. I am not feeling good. How are y'all feeling? Are y'all feeling all right? William, how is this the craziest you've ever, ever? looked? There's the cat. There's a hole in your shirt. William, coming, I mean, first of all, unbelievable set. Unbelievable performance. I feel like that would have decimated in front of our usual live crowd at the comedy store. Gino, you're always at those shows. That was just that. He's giving it a thumbs up. What do you think, Gino? Everybody loved it. Charlie from Vito's Pizza loving it, cracking up. You had everybody up here Charlie laughing. Charlie from Vito's Pizza just vomited up his own pizza looking at William. And then, yes, indeed, I will now acknowledge that, William, you have never looked more insane. I mean, you look disheveled. Disheveled. Like fresh off the set of Bram Stoker's Dracula. The fucking <laughs> really, I love the butt haircut that he's got. What the fuck? I don't think I've ever seen you without a hat. Oh my God, William. <laughs> you look like a crazy man. It's like a David Lynch it's film. A classic move right there when you start laughing. Do the. <laughs> <laughs> wow, William, I love this backdrop. Uh, this I'm is what people so are bad seeing, right? right Just that black background. That is so awesome, William. You look you absolutely... really missed that one up. You got, you look. It doesn't look like it to me. It is. What? What are you fucking doing in there, William? You have any symptoms of the coronavirus? My nose will not stop running. Is that true? Yep. My goodness. What else? What else do you have? William is live in studio with us, by the way. We've kept him out in the lobby up until this point. <laughs> who, just... And who has the white claws? Where do those things come from? All I did was smoke Joel, a joint in the him. bathroom. Roll it to him. Do not. Here you go. I'm kidding. Are you are you well? Can I trust? Can you trust Joel? What did you just say? You heard what I said. Oh, this is. Right being, please stop. This is always uh, always an interesting part of the interview when you two go at it. Um, so wow, William. Other than your nose running, what else has been uh, going on? Anything else crazy? Oh, uh, what if my uh, feet is yellow? Oh. <laughs> Is that normal? You said you've had hammer toe in the past. Yeah, what if my uh, what if my feet currently is a yellow color, uh, but it's normally like that. Oh, there you go. All right, William, that's fun. <laughs> you now you've taken off work. You've taken work off the whole week, right? Because you've said you felt sick. That really. Sick. Uh, well, I am sick. They better. I know they're not watching this, but I am sick. So it's weird you brought that up. Are you really sick, or is this a joke? Look at him. Well, this is what he normally he looks like. <laughs> he normally does this thing where he'll... He lies. He, this is his... <laughs> look what he's doing. Like, he's really accentuating. Look at that fucking aerial <laughs> view of his head. Oh, my God. That looks like... Look what at the, that nightmare. Look at that. Looks like the inside of a cotton candy machine. <laughs> Corona under a microscope. Like, yeah. <laughs> Jack Nicholson's colon. Oh my Have you ever thought God. about shaving your head, William? No. It looks no, like he did shave it that. just that's, right that's, down that's the middle. That's the goddamn, that's yeah, the goddamn money maker right dude, there. Dude. <laughs> what cuts your hair? A Zamboni, dude? <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so let's have some fun here. William, you are performing in front of a green screen, and uh, I told you earlier that we might use that for something. And we're going to. You have no idea what's about to appear in front of you or behind you. Um, but uh, we're going to run some things. And you just uh, you react to it. Maybe keep the microphone in your hand. And you just react to whatever is going on around you and improvise. This will be a little uh, improv game that you play, William. And you just uh, roll with it. We're going to see what happens here. You let us know what's going on as it's happening. Here, get back on get back, get back on the screen. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, that's the, really the only thing. So here we go. Oh. <laughs> Where am I? It's like Tony Hitchcliffe's house. Where am I? <laughs> Where yes. these hot dogs come from? That is what my house looks like. There are just hot dogs. What <laughs> is this house? So many wieners going around. So many wieners around. everywhere. Uh, many wieners <laughs> inside of buns if you catch my drift uh, whose because house is i this? am a gay man seriously uh, whose house is this why can't i fucking walk around man, there's a lot without of hot dogs. this shit happening you know i can't eat hot dogs that's a lot of hot dogs between booty no i don't eat hot around. dogs anymore okay is there another uh, is there another one we can perhaps bring up here let's see what happens then. whoa oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> It's Tristan's grandma, dude. 
Oh, God. <laughs> Even the skeleton doesn't really want to touch it. <laughs> Oh, oh, the skeleton's like, this guy looks like shit. Will, William, do the same pose so we can see the before and after. <laughs> I don't think William even has a real skeleton underneath all that. All right, very good, William. How about is there anything? Is there anything else? What's oh! next? What, 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 do, what do we have next? For William, let's see what we have here. Uh, perhaps coming William. up. Next. William, get in there. Oh, look at that. Are you running for president? Let's hear your campaign pitch, William. How's it going? Go straight to camera. <laughs> Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, I told y'all I would not be working at this church tonight, but here I am. I know the coronavirus is going strong right now. I'm one of the premier uh, white DJs for all black congregations of. Uh, People in Atlanta I think William, see why do you hold the microphone so far <laughs> over your entire face? Like you almost had it up to your eyeballs on that. <laughs> like what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? What are you hiding? Uh, you don't want to see it. Y'all would really, y'all wouldn't have let me. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my God! He's on fire! Hold on! He's burning the flag! He's going to get a bucket of water! <laughs> <laughs> William, do you even feel any of that? You're, yep, you're... I am super hot right now. Literally. Oh! <laughs> wow. Looks like that coronavirus fever just got a little bit hotter. It did. Oh, there's a... Ooh, <laughs> it's okay. The ambulance is on it. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa, William. What are you going to do? With... Good thing Hold this isn't on. David I can't swim. <laughs> <laughs> Am I swimming by right now? Oh, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that's it's Jeremiah doing a backstroke. Oh shit, we know the we know we know those guys. That Ralph? That, is that Darius? Darius. Wait, Dar <laughs> Darius and Curtis. Do you know these guys, William? Man, what's going on? Whoa, oh, watch out! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, this is this just is a hard one. This is, I can't oh. figure this one out. Uh-oh. It's showing you his stick. <laughs> My goodness. Wow. William, do you know these guys? I, I don't. Oh, okay. Is there anything else that we have uh, loaded up? <laughs> 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 it's a skeleton's fire and a man. <laughs> All right, that's cool. William, um, what are your plans for uh, getting rid of the virus that you supposedly have as of right now? Are you planning on doing anything? Perhaps? I'm planning on not sleeping. I've heard you can literally get it out of your body not sleeping. Oh, that's incredible. How long have you gone without sleeping? I'm currently on 48 hours. Hmm. Um, well, you look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> No. Check out the underarm. Oh, my God. Oh, look at William. Oh, that's like brown. <laughs> that happened today, actually. Why don't you it get, was... like, a different shirt? Why do you have that shirt on? Yeah, yeah that was bleached? the one shirt to wear on the podcast. Because the shirt comes with that body type. Yeah. <laughs> you can just kind of see my belly button in it a little. Is that your... Do you sell merch, and are they all that shirt? It's just this shirt, <laughs> if you want to get on my website. Um, uh, Peter Mendez... I don't know. I'm working on that one. We ever end up with A1? No. Huh. Uh -oh. Get away from me. Um, William, get back in the frame there. Uh, but seriously, uh, what's your current living situation in this quarantine? I'm currently at my uh, place on Alvarado Street. You live by yourself? Three other guys. Three guys, and are any of you guys abiding by this quarantine whatsoever? I thought you were about to ask her if any of us are dating, and yes, we are. Uh, no. Have you guys been going out? Have you been staying in? <laughs> Has everybody been listening to the quarantine rules? We have been. We've been playing a, a shit ton of uh, Hi-Ho Cheerio, Connect Four, Hi -Ho Cheerio. Uh, Monopoly, Um but no, yeah, we're all we're taking it pretty easy. What it's piece pretty... are you when you play Monopoly? Uh, the the hare. There's not. No. <laughs> there is there, there a rabbit? <laughs> no. Is there not a rabbit? I thought you meant a piece of yours. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. That's like a wig or something. 
<laughs> Looks like you're running out of pieces quickly. Uh, hey, it's man. like an actual Monopoly board. They just keep getting lost. All but right. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty somber time right now. <laughs> oh it's a, a really is... somber time right now. <laughs> the guy that makes the amazing uh, graphic art, uh, graphic uh, designs for uh, for a lot of my uh, uh, stand up shows, including this show, the great Mick Vader, uh, just said that you look like the main subject of a Netflix conspiracy documentary. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Black helicopters. <laughs> <laughs> There he goes, William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, always entertaining. Bravo, sir. Bravo. I'm hungry like a wolf. All right, your next comedian, the other regular from Kill Tony, ladies and gentlemen, William Montgomery, live in the flesh. Here he is. William, how are you? How's it going, y'all? The rumors are true. My name's Sean Dragon. I'm in all black porn. Uh, Jamaican stuff, uh, butt fuck stuff. Um, no, but seriously, I'm cosplaying as Mrs. Doubtfire right now. Oh my I god! Can't believe, oh my god. can't believe you did that joke earlier, David. You piece of shit. It sounds like you're sick as a motherfucker. You piece of shit. Uh, no, but seriously, my name's Sean Dragon, and I've been killing kids over in Azure by John. Uh. <laughs> Y'all are in for a treat with this next joke. I wrote a book about an eight-legged horse. It took me uh, three years to write. We're going through the public publishing process, and at the end, they're like, what's the name of the book? And I'm like, I don't know. Who do I look like? Stephen fucking King? <laughs> uh, I, uh, I'm trying to look at my camera. I don't know what camera to... And I also don't know if I've said this joke before. Y'all are in for a treat with this next one. I'm only a fan of the Power Rangers, only when they don't have their costumes on. <laughs> yeah. I remember that yeah. one. There have he I is, said William that Montgomery before? with a brand new minute. That is a massive belly button. Wow. This looks this worse than the Walmart pack, that we pick up every week. Oh my God. Come on, Ooh. dude. This is a six-pack. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger King says you look worse than the Walmart meat they pick up every week. Hold on, go back to that belly button for a second. Go back, show us that belly button. Oh, that, oh that's a is, deep one. Is that the belly button that Bubba Fett fell into yeah, in Return of the one. Jedi? Oh my God, he did land on the moon. <laughs> Bubba Fett. The tart, the Sarnak <laughs> pit. Bubba Fett. The Sarnak pit. <laughs> Bubba Fett. Bubba Fett. Bubba. I said Bubba. I like that's Bubba Fett. Fett. Right here, dude. That is Bubba Fett. Right Bubba here. Fett. Dude. That's why. That's why I thought of it. It reminds me of a Bubba Fett. <laughs> okay, thank you. Love it, love it. How are y'all doing? Now, William, <laughs> William, I'm going to acknowledge something. Last week, you were in studio. We have decided since that performance to no longer let you in a, in a room with us. Um, during that during that performance, there was parts where you were dipping your head down and you were showing us your hair or lack thereof, and now it appears as of though this week you have a brand new wow. haircut. Wow, look at that comb wow. over with uh, look at that. some Joe Tiger bangs. Oh my you god. Is that is that natural, that hair you got there? I have a Tiger King joke. I look like if Tiger King had a rival on Survivor. Wow. <laughs> no. Oh my I, god. I don't know. Oh, yikes. <laughs> I'm still watching a bunch of Survivor. Uh huh. I love it. Are, so you haven't been at work, have you, William? You've, you've taken work off for the uh, week. Yeah, I've been sick. Yes. Oh. Have you really been sick? You always say this. You've yes. been saying this for a month. Yeah, I've been sick. Yes. 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 Is, I am uh, sick as a dog right now. I've been peeing in my pants. Well, well, I mean, that should be that. That's you see not the one of the. Shaking? Dogs don't wear pants, William. That's not one of the symptoms of coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> so what? What? What's the back? Where? What's that hair coming from the back there? What is that? I saw the bangs up top, but what is? What is that exactly? Can you show us that? Can we get a better angle at that hair? Can you show us where it connects to your this skull? This is confusing me. How is this camera going? 
William, where yeah. are you right now? <laughs> Whoa, is oh, is that baseball God. player? What the what fuck? The fuck? <laughs> this is a uh, a Kobe Bryant with a green face. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> He's a zombie. He's a oh. zombie Kobe Bryant. <laughs> wow! What the hell, he? <laughs> what My the God. hell? No, but seriously, how are y'all feeling? I've been sick as shit for <laughs> over a week. No, we're great. We're great. So do you think this is a new permanent look for you, this new haircut you got? I think my mom helped me put it on. Um, I don't know if y'all have ever seen nipples like this, these kind. Oh, yeah. Y yeah. Oh, Usually on... <laughs> I am gay, and I'm thinking about my life right now. <laughs> is your armpit hair red as well, William? Oh, my God, it is. Let's oh. see your armpit hair. <laughs> Look at that. Bright red. Let's see your armpit hair. It's redder than a Point tiger. the camera at it. Oh. Oh. Look How at do that. you work this camera? You need to get some. You need to get some black clip-ons for your armpit hair too. You're a little bit. This, this is why Joe Exotic never kept orangutans around. Cause a little bit light in the loafers there, on armpit hair. <laughs> so William. Uh, <laughs> William, what else has been going on this week? There's rumors going around that you're back with your ex, that you're drinking heavily. Can you confirm or deny any of these rumors that you're doing what everything are, wrong? What do you mean? We're in a co we're in a are you I mean, are you really gonna call me out right now? Are you gonna put me on blast right now? I've been in Azerbaijan for two weeks. I, I get lonely out on the ships. I don't know what to do. I'm in a carnival cruise ship in the in the Queen's quarters right now. I paid two thousand dollars to be in here. I'm in the Queen's quarters, and yes, I have a companion. Uh, I'm currently with a companion. Yeah, how's that been going? It's been great. Let me ask you this. You and this girl that you hang out with, have you ever spent a single minute with her where you're sober? Yeah. Are you really are you really going to ask me that right now? <laughs> yes. He looks like a bad baby when he puts his head down. <laughs> there are plenty of time. I look like a what, Red Band? A Piece bad of baby. Shit. What the like fuck? your haircut, you faggot. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. That's pure, offensive to gay tigers. Pure hatred coming out of William right now. <laughs> William, anything else weird about your body that we can't see? What are your thighs like right now? My thighs are... Hold on. Take a look. I don't know how to do the uh, the camera the other way on this uh, sucker. Well, you hit the thing that looks like a camera with arrows going around it. I don't see it. I is that, a, is that a landline that you're calling from? <laughs> yes, it's a landline I'm calling from. Oh, Tony, I just moved the thing. I see you right now. How are you? Oh, my God. We're seven uh, minutes into this interview, William. I'm great. Oh, man. Yeah, I wish I could look at my toes. Did you just poop your pants just then? <laughs> oh. 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 And we saw it. Out, we got confirmation. We saw the girl, William. You see how fast she ran? She ran. <laughs> oh, man. She ran more than William has in seven months. <laughs> My goodness. So did you paint your toenails like that, or did she? She did. We had a romantic evening last night. She painted my toenails. We ate I can't some believe blue a box. woman likes you this much. What must be wrong with her? Like, does she have like, <laughs> you know, some like halitosis or something? Perhaps like a chronic disease? Does she have days? Something to live is that... wrong with her. Her fifth chromosome. She has something similar to uh, what is that disease called? Lupus. Not lupus. Down it's syndrome. Where all the Down people syndrome. Look the syndrome. same. Yeah, she. Yeah, it's Down syndrome. Oh, very cool. Really cool. Loving it. Absolutely. Is that hair tickling your nipple at all? It is making them super hard right now. <laughs> okay. All right, William. This has been a fun interview. Very, very a uh, lot of information we found yeah. out about you this yep. week. I also heard a little oh, rumor. What does that... that mean? What does that mean? I heard a little rumor that you're uh, being a little bit lazy when it comes to booking the next Brothers in Cursive. Yeah, what happened? Uh, you never contact us. We tried to contact you a couple times. 
Just hanging is out with Is that really your... what you're going to say right now, Red Band? Yeah, I was supposed to co-host Brothers you're supposed and Curses. To yeah. I like how we is that like... Really... Are you, you really like... going to say that, Red Band? Yeah, yeah. It turns out I'm the new guest host, dude. You're out, dude. It's me and David Lucas. We're the new brothers. Yeah, okay, I'm Quincy. out. Okay, Quincy. my apologies. <laughs> All right. Well, you got to get your shit together. Drink some water. Oh, look at those you still tits. have that open sore on your belly? That's a belly button. Yeah, let's see your red dot. Let's see that red yeah, dot. what's up with the red dot, dude? You might have a staph infection, William. Either that or you're transitioning into Mars. <laughs> All right, there he goes. William Montgomery, everybody. We love you, William. We love you. Bye, I love you all. Too. Another new minute from the senior regular on this show. All right, we have another regular. His name's William Montgomery. Very controversial character. A lot of people love him, hate him. We're following a lot of drama in his life. This pandemic is rumored to uh, have him on, living on the edge right now. He's, uh, he's here with us, ladies and gentlemen, William Montgomery. Here he is. There you go. Hey, how's it going? It's, it's, uh, it's so nice to be here. I'm actually back in Memphis right now. My aunt died of natural causes. Uh, I read a statistic the other day that there's been a real decrease in school shootings recently. Uh, I've been listening to the diary of Anne Frank on audiobook. Uh, at this point, I'm a little confused about what her diary is actually about. Every time she starts a new chapter, I can't help but wonder uh, when the Blair Witch is going to show up. Uh, I watched Blues Brothers 2000 last night. I'm sure I missed a lot because I never saw Blues Brothers 1,999. Uh, <laughs> I just finished a script called Minority Deport. It starts Kevin Bacon and Helen Hunt as two ICE agents who find uh, humorous ways to stay entertained while performing their jobs as ICE agents, while also searching for the Blair Witch in the Forest of Maryland. Wow, William Montgomery, a real minute there. <laughs> William, that was fun. Very fun stuff. I liked I liked uh, quite a few of those jokes you had there, buddy. You've been uh, you've been staying bit creative, staying writing over there. I have. I actually uh, watched the movie The Matrix last night. What the hell is that about? That was your first time watching The Matrix. It is. It's like wow! I can't That's believe great. it. My goodness. I heard. Uh, Jill, I, I heard. I heard Amazon uh, is going to be making a new series about uh, the Matrix. It happens like uh, a time after the Matrix with a whole different cast and everything. Yeah. And rumors are that it's going to be better than the original Matrix movies. Oh. I read about that. That's is it what, called that's Steel what... and it, it stars uh, Shaquille O'Neal? <laughs> yes, that's actually it. It stars Shaquille O'Neal. I also watched that for the first time. Have you all seen that? Yeah. I didn't know your ex-girlfriend lived in Nashville. I'm a little confused at that when you piece of shit. Yeah, you said he's in Memphis. Oh, Memphis. I'm sorry. Yeah. Are you really? Right, in, wait, wait, you're, yeah, you're not really in Memphis, are you? I'm in Memphis right now, dude. It's freezing cold. That looks exactly like the backyard you were in uh, last week. It's not actually. Yeah, I'm back in Memphis. I'm at my parents' house. Is that a dolly behind you? You have a dolly at your parents' house? What do you mean a dolly? Is that what your ex-girlfriend uses to carry around all her uh, baggage? I got one of them. Whoa, a pair of scissors. I find it really hard to believe that Larry and Francis would keep their back patio as disorganized as the area that you're at right now. Seriously? Christmas, yeah, like Christmas lights on the top there. Like it Screens looks so ghetto. <laughs> Everything looks ghetto Come there. Come on. Have Larry and Francis have come out and say hello. If you're really at home right now, have them come out and say hi. At, call their Do names. They're an and Italian have... place. They're an Italian restaurant. The, no, restaurants aren't open right now, William. You just got caught. Yeah, heard of, uh, you just got really caught in Italian. a massive lie. You just lied on heard the air. Italian to restaurant. Us. Ronnie Grazani's. Ronnie Grazani's. Ronnie Grazani's is not open. We just looked it up. The producers looked it up. They gave it a thumbs down. Ronnie Grazani's. Did those really say that? What? Why did they tell me to keep my phone down here? It's a bad angle for me right now. Why did they tell me to do this? <laughs> Is that fucking piece of shit still know. running the show back here? That fucking bitch.
No one that the I producers for are a week for this. You have the producers cracking up in this booth right now because they, they, they did not. I don't think they told you to keep it so low. Did you guys? Yep. They told me they said, keep it low, keep it high and tight. Wow. Oh, William, don't do that. No. Ooh, I've been practicing after I watched Steel. I've been practicing. After you watched what? Steel with Shaquille O'Neal. I can't believe he died yesterday. Can y'all? Yeah, no, that's crazy. Um, that's absolutely insane that Shaquille O'Neal passed away. Was that the coronavirus that killed him? How did he die? Coronavirus. Yeah. Absolutely. How have your symptoms been lately? You've complained about being sick for weeks on the show. You look fantastic this week. That angle, for some reason, really, maybe that's why they told you to hold it there, because this is your best Literally. angle that I've ever seen. <laughs> is it really? Oh, thanks for the pig noise, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. What's up uh, with the pig noise, bitch? I didn't do that. <laughs> Uh-oh, we're getting a little more. He's camouflaged in here, borrowed his brother in cursive's shirt from David <laughs> Lucas there. <laughs> Looks like my book bag. You have a camouflaged book bag? Yeah. Okay. How have y'all been doing? I've missed seeing y'all. It's been a while. Yeah, it's good, man. It's much better without you here in studio. Things feel cleaner. It feels more sanitary in here. Things are all looking up, you know? It smells better. It smells better? Mm -hmm. What does it smell like, bitch? <laughs> That's a good question. What does it smell like, Red Band? It's a... Jeremiah's feet. There you go. There you Perfect. go. There you go. Perfect. Um, he has a fungus problem. Oh, there you go. A lot of information. Um, that's a callback. That's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Joel, do you miss being on the road and seeing Jeremiah rubbing his feet into the hotel Honestly, room at this point, yeah, I do. I can't wait to get back on the road and fucking work real hard. Do y'all think that's actually going to happen? I'm worried it's not going to happen. I'm worried Shut this up, William. This thing's going to stick around. You worry too think? much. So did you fly to Memphis? Because you, you look like you have hitchhiked. Have you, have you ever hitchhiked before, William? I took a boat, actually. We went through the Erie Canal. Uh-huh. Through the Erie Canal. <laughs> no, yeah, I took a I took a car. That's good. You drove? Yep. All by yourself? Yep. How long did that I've take you? I've been on you? the uh, fucking a week. Oh, it took a week. Whole week? Yeah, a week. Whole right. week? Okay. <laughs> been a whole week. Yeah. I think his beard's oh. crooked. Look at it. It's like on the left William, side. What do you mean it's crooked? William, we, this might be crazy, <laughs> but we went live a few weeks ago. You sang a song from the Toadies. I was wondering if you'd like to sing a piece of that song for us t tonight. Yeah, can you sing a little Make bit for us? Make up your mind. Decide to walk with me beside the lake tonight. Beside the lake tonight, by my side. That was great. All right, William. Well, we so love much. seeing you. Is there anything else you want to say or any questions for us before we let you go? I just want to give a moment of silence for Nick and Peter Jarmones of the Jarmones brother of Supercuts. They are currently not with us. They died of... This whole Corona bullshit. I also want to give a moment of silence for Kathy, the owl lady from Barnum and Bailey's. She not only looks like an owl, but she flies like one as well. Hey, one, 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 one last question for you, William. What was that Italian restaurant you said your parents were at earlier? Ronnie Grazani's. Ronnie Grazani's. <laughs> Look up the Yelp. Okay, I will. Ronnie Grazani's in Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> You spell that R-O-N-N-Y? Yeah, Y or I-E. <laughs> just, just keep trying until it pops up. Yeah, and there the Grisani's with an I. There he goes. William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to keep it uh, moving. Uh, William Montgomery. Joined by the man goblin himself, the one and only that? William Montgomery, streaming live right now. Hello, William. How are you? How's it going? I'm giving blowjobs on blackpeoplemeet.com. Uh, oh, my goodness.
No, just kidding. Hey, Red Band, sorry I missed your black party, uh, Panther party last night. I was DJing a homeschool prom. Um, I'm have, having trouble sleeping these days, so I downloaded a white noise app, and it just ended up being the Th Seinfeld theme song. Uh, one thing I've learned during this quarantine is that I'm not actually allergic to cats. I guess it all depends on how you cook them. Uh, Hey, Tony, does all this mean we're going to have to wait uh, two more months for another Medea movie? No, but seriously, I was actually looking at Wikipedia. Medea's criminal record is extensive. <laughs> there it is, William Montgomery, everyone. A new minute from William. There you go. I would say that that white noise Seinfeld joke is uh, the real first joke of the night, almost basically, sort of. That's a real professionally written joke. Wait, Red Band is informing me that he wrote the same joke this week. Red Band wrote a new joke, yeah. and it just so happens to be the same one that you wrote, William. Yeah, I posted an yeah, Instagram story. Yeah, I bet story. his pussy ass did. I posted it. Oh my I posted God. an Instagram story where it was just my backyard at night and it was completely quiet. And I put, I just put white noise, you know, like, uh -huh. and then I thought, oh yeah, white noise. Cause Ruby you know, shut the helicopters fuck up, and gunshots. And, all right. Ruby Ruby and shut the fuck up. You dude. saw my fucking Instagram story. Do you because see this you shit around my eyes? I'm in Morocco right now. Where'd you write it down how, at on paper? Or? How was the mini tacos that you had the other <laughs> night? Yeah, they were pretty good. I can't believe you didn't let me in your fucking place. Are you guys having your own Bitch. podcast right now? Is this uh, Brothers of Cursive? Uh, All right, well, we say brothers. I love it. Um, so. How are you? How are y'all doing? William, we're doing good. Is that eye makeup you're wearing? Yeah, take a look. No, yeah, I've seen it the whole time. It, do it doesn't work as well if you close your eyes, by the way. Oh, there it is. Yeah, look at that. Took Who me did two that hours to you? To put on. Who did huh? that to you? Who did that to you? I'm currently in Morocco right now. A nice lady named Teresa Sanchez. Uh, hell of a lady. We were. Let's see her. Uh, having. She's not here right now. <laughs> she's sitting across from me on the couch. She's not here right now. Yeah, Just she's a right. Super nice lady, Teresa. Just spin the phone around real quick. There's nobody on the other side. Of Just me. spin it around. There's nobody on the other right side. Right now, well. William, you have three seconds or else you're no longer a regular on this show. One, two, How do I spin it around? three. Just I turn it around. around. Just turn it. <laughs> it's it in your fucking hand. Turn it. You're waiting it's for her me. to leave what the room. Do press? What button do I press? You don't need to press a button. Just turn it. What button do I press? Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, my God. Yeah, you coming. son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh my god. All right. William, what have you been doing to pass the time this week? Any new hobbies in the quarantine? Uh, I've been watching a bunch of uh Who is the guy who was in all of the uh He was in that movie where he's a, a detective back in the past, a big rock almost hits him at one point, Indiana Jones. I've been watching a bunch of Harrison Ford movies. Wow. You yes. thought he was a detective? That is a <laughs> weird <laughs> That is one of the most bizarre actors to watch all of his movies. A, basically, you know, a good actor, but sort of a mainstream sellout, I would sort of say, right? Like, I mean, not really considered a great actor, more of an action type what are you of... talking about? He's great for He's a little boy. <laughs> what's your favorite? Yeah, what's what's his most amazing acting? His most amazing acting? Yeah. Well, I, I think Indiana Jones is really good. Okay. So, I mean, Star Wars, the fugitive. Mandarin. Definitely not Star <laughs> Wars because he wasn't in the Mandalorian. <laughs> right. The so Mandarin. You're the best show in this world. You're saying that Harrison Ford is an amazing actor. Yeah, he's obviously a great actor. Like, you could put him in any movie and be way better than most actors. Could you put him in Forrest Gump? No. You couldn't put him in Forrest Gump. Yeah, he's not that type of actor. Forrest That's Gump. why I'm saying he's him. not that, that great of an actor. I Blade Runner. Him. He's like an action right. actor. The Fugitive. Fugitive's a great movie. Well, lies beneath. Ooh. Ooh. Did, you know that's that one? Yeah, yeah. you've never seen One Lies Beneath? It's been a long time. Patriot Games. 
clear I'm and present so, danger. So He's more of like an action Apocalypse movie now. actor. Like this I'm is like so saying Vin Diesel's great in uh, Gone and <laughs> Fast and Furious or whatever it is. All Gone right, Cowboys and, and Aliens. Penguin has uh, the Batman movie, the second Batman movie. Penguin. What's his name again? Danny DeVito. Some Cobblepot. Yes. Yes. Cobblepot. DeVito. That's a good guy right here. Great name. Heck yeah. So you've just been sitting around watching a bunch of shitty movies? <laughs> I have. Thinking about brushing my teeth, thinking about flossing. I have not. Uh huh. They Did look, you get a haircut? They look good. You got a haircut. No, more it's just falling out. Oh. It looks good. <laughs> oh, really? I know somebody that cuts hair. Though. Gravity's your barber. Who do you know that cuts hair? I don't know. It's somebody that's on the other side of that phone, probably. Oh, turn it around real quick, William. <laughs> turn William, turn what your phone you around. Press? No, what button? button? You like you did it before, just turn it around. Do it right now. All right, now, now go walk, into the walk, house. Walk yeah. that direction. <laughs> we see legs way. sticking out of from under Come the on. couch. Take us for a walk before the phone call ends. Take us for a quick little tour. I'm not going on any walk right now. Why? I can't. Is that what Harrison Ford would do? Are you serious? You stumped him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Harrison, oh, he's over, he's over no, Harrison Ford's almost uh, is also a fun fact is he is a notoriously bad pilot. Like a <laughs> that is true. Horrific pilot. Like he's he's had more emergency landings than basically any other 10 pilots combined. I've also heard from inside sources that he's just stoned to the gullet at all I mean, times. He has his ears oh. pierced on both sides. You can't really get... <laughs> With danglies. You can't really get stoned before flying. Not when he's flight. flying, just right. in general. Yeah. Yeah, stoned before a flight stop. Who the okay. fuck said that? All right, William. Well... Yeah, just the all right. Well, that was probably my best set. Thank you so much. That it's is exciting. true. I, it, that is one of my favorite sets from you. I'm for real this time. There he is, William Montgomery, everybody. Hi, William. There he is, William Montgomery. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one of the major serious regulars in the history of this show. He's a big deal. Uh, very controversial character. We've had a lot of wild weeks with this guy. Here he is, William Montgomery. Hi, William. Hey, how's it going? First off, I want to give it up for my cousin. Uh, we used to kiss. Um, so I was extremely disappointed with the ABC family edit of Eyes Wide Shut. Um, I was almost on an episode of Extreme Home Makeover, but when they came to my front door, I set fire to a portion of my house and a few kids died and uh, my cult ended. That's all I remember about my time in Waco. Uh, it's weird how nobody's questioned Batman about this whole coronavirus thing. Uh, the monster in my closet is so dumb, he doesn't think I can hear him jacking off to me sleeping in a cheerleader's outfit. That was supposed to be really funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> scares me y'all didn't laugh. It was supposed to be really good. Uh, be good. Seriously, although I apologize, I'm going through a tunnel right now. It's hard to hear y'all. <laughs> That's good. Are you holding your phone on your thigh? Yeah, it's on my thigh. Were you were you holding your phone on your thigh? It was on my thigh. A lot of Tony. Yeah, a lot no, of you people... sound better now. You had the microphone covered up during that last joke. I have that problem all the time. Oh, did I? Thighs. A lot of a lot of people forget that I was a news anchor for News Channel Three in Memphis, and uh. Uh, after each one of my my you were news also a stories, boat I... anchor. Uh, a lot of people don't know that you would keep the boats where they were by dipping down into the waters because you're so I heavy. Dip down in the waters, and I y'all are in for a great treat right now. This is I play a song after each one of my news stories. I'd like to play that song for you. Here it is. Are you gonna sing along? No, it's just, it's instrumental. You have to sing something, make up words. Do something, William, you're just playing a song. Oh, you're actually playing that? Oh, yeah. 
Come on, show us, you buffoon. Get, tell your fucking do-nothing girlfriend to be the camera person. We're getting Jesus married. Jesus Christ, William. He said they're getting married. That's great. Have her be the camera person. Have her film you. Tell her to get her... How do... I don't know how to flip this camera around. God. You're so bad at this. Here, watch. Are you playing? That? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Honestly, dude. All seriously, I lost my virginity to that song, dude. Is that a yogurt mat in the back, dude? A yogurt mat? Yeah. <laughs> yogurt mat. Do yogurt on it, dude. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Okay, that's enough. Whoa, yeah, that's that enough. was enough. That was enough. <laughs> that's enough. And how are y'all doing? I miss y'all. How are y'all doing? We're doing, we're doing great, dude. It's, it's the best time of our fucking lives. What are you talking about? It's week six of quarantine. Has it been six weeks now? Yeah, something like it's that. Been... <laughs> <Six>. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I've jerked, I've jerked off 7,000 times, dude. That's it? Wow. So, uh, are, is it true? Are you really getting married, or was that just another one of your classic jokes? No, yeah, we're getting married next week. Uh, it's Where are you going to go to get married? Civil union. We're flying down to uh, uh, a Civil uh, War union. <laughs> a re re flying down to Tampa. <laughs> You're flying to Tampa, Florida for it? Flying That's to brilliant. Tampa, Florida. We're going to get married. I'm really excited. I want all of y'all to join. Where, where's the honeymoon going to be? Uh, Ponte Vedra Beach in Jacksonville. Freaking Denny's, dude. Did she give you a ring back? Denny's. Or did you give her a ring or a bruise? Or a, or a what? Give her a ringworm. Did I give her a what? <laughs> Nothing. That was Red Man. Man, I've really, I've really missed y'all. This is becoming hard for me out here. Yeah, well, I, what's, I, what's the hardest part? God, not completing thousand piece puzzles. I've bought four off of Amazon. I can't complete far, any of them. How far uh, have you gotten? Have you tried mixing uh, the four puzzles together? Perhaps using a piece from one of the other puzzles. Yes, I have. Uh, without any any, it hadn't worked. Have you asked Jeremiah for help? He does three hundred piece puzzles. Yeah. Do you, Jeremiah? <laughs> Yeah, Jeremiah has been struggling with puzzles <laughs> lately. He Jeremiah, does them. Can we do one or something? I'd love to do a virtual puzzle with you, dude. Can we do a virtual puzzle? You're dude, cool I'd love to do a virtual, virtual puzzle, puzzle with you, dude. Yeah. I'd love to do a virtual I'd puzzle. I'd love to do a Zoom call with you, dude, and us find the same puzzle, dude, and us complete it at the same time, dude. Oh, wow. Can that we do like, a Zoom like virtual a puzzle. puzzle together? I'd love to do a virtual puzzle with you, dude. You're my do freaking bro, dude. Milk? Do y'all drink milk? Do we drink milk? Yeah, dude. Whole milk every day, bro. Tad, what's your favorite Tony, kind of milk? You... Whole milk, dude. All Vitamin D every single time. Really? How about uh, how about you, Ice? Oh, only milk I like is from a pussy. You know what I'm <laughs> hey, pussy milk. Dude, I would high five you right now, but I can't. Everybody's favorite pussy milk, everyone. How about you, Connor? Your favorite kind I'm of milk? I'm a virgin. Uh, milf. Hey, look at that. Dude, milk. milk without the K, dude. Add the F for fuck. I'm milk. a 2% guy. I don't know about you guys. Really? Yeah. I would have guessed. Like, I'm a 1% guy. Percent. <laughs> he puts money oh, in nah. his milk. <laughs> Come on. Put money in my milk. Milk money. <laughs> it's my milk money. <laughs> That's yeah, actually dude. a really good movie. I watched that the other night. Milk Buddy. It's a really good one. It's been a seal. I love your acting. I saw you in uh, The Lighthouse. Have you seen The Lighthouse? <laughs> love The Lighthouse. Dude, he just I called you called Willem the Dafoe, bro. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was called The White House. There you go. <laughs> William, <laughs> you're out of control. All right, William, we love you. Thanks for uh, thanks for performing. Right. We love you so much. Sweet, Another great... Let me still do this. I think this is one of the great performances of your entire career on this show. This is probably one of my best. I agree with it. You're sweet to say that. I totally appreciate it. There hey, he do is. you have makeup on right now? Hey, shut up, Red Band, you fucking pussy. Wow, there it is. William Montgomery, everyone. William is one of the very famous regulars of the show. 
Here he is joining us live, the one and the only, the great William Montgomery. Here he is, William. Are you guys going to play? Jesus Christ. All right. Here he is, William song? Montgomery, everyone. William. How's it going? I'm still running for county alderman. Um, I'd like to go over some policies. Uh, I saw the movie Tokyo Drift, and I can promise you one thing. If I'm elected county alderman, there will be no Tokyo drifting on our streets. <laughs> I saw the movie Poltergeist recently, and I can sure as hell tell you one thing. If I'm elected county alderman, we're going to be making sure none of our subdivisions in this community are built on top of Indian burial grounds. I'm sick and tired of coming back to my home at night, just wondering for hours before I walk inside if I'm the one that turned that light on. That was probably my best policy. It scares me. Y'all aren't laughing. Um, uh, can we make pool toys a little less dangerous, please? They're meant for floating, not breaking your neck. Uh, if we're on the topic of kids' movies that need to be banned from elementary school, let's bring Lion King into the dialogue. I'm sick and tired of staying up, hoping Scar doesn't make his appearance on screen, but he does every time. There he is, William Montgomery. There's the body of William Montgomery. with a, Still an open wound on his belly. Um, it's getting we, better. No, We've been not. studying this open wound it's for a long worse. time. There is a different hair there. there. What's that hair that's in the middle there? Keep it's a hope. beard hair. Oh, yeah, wow. Gross. That is a loose hair. We just found <laughs> a loose, thick black hair. That is someone else's hair. <laughs> that was in the middle of your belly, right next to your open wound, William. Hello, love. Actually, y'all are in for a treat. My, uh, my head of uh, security is actually in town tonight. Uh, for my alderman thing, Warren, do you want to come in the picture a little bit? Turn your phone around. I don't know how to turn it around. Just, around. just move Jeez. it. <laughs> Here, come behind me, Warren. We also found out today yeah, he doesn't know how to save photos from the internet. Oh wow! Wait a second! Oh my goodness! Who is this? It is my buddy Oren. He's my head of security. That might have been. Uh, is here on my belly? I don't know if it was or not, but it's not we're right here. With but we're we're serious. <laughs> I, we both think coronavirus is a sham, don't you, Warren? Yeah, it's a super sham. It's a way super made, sham. Made up. It's a gang nightmare, gang. gang gang. Wow. Get out of here. Yeah. God, William, you're gonna have to change your name to Crip Van Winkle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love that. So where did you where did you yeah. meet this guy? We watched dishes together. We actually, yeah, we watched dishes <laughs> together in Denver, Colorado. <laughs> we are. Who is who had that fucking bitch cackle in the back? I know, right? Those are the producers yeah. in the back in a soundproof what room. What faggot was that? My God, William, I love this new look. Are you auditioning for a role in Beer and Groaning in Las Vegas? <laughs> Beer and Groaning, uh, the new Beer and uh, groaning. Anaconda movie. The new Anaconda movie with J Lo. I have never seen anything quite as white as you right now. I've, you've never been whiter, and I, I've also never seen you hang out with a black guy before. Uh, David Lucas. What about David Lucas? What about David Lucas? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot but I mean, that. like that's like for show. I didn't know that in your spare time you were hanging out with these types of people. It is for show. I'm glad you brought that up. I He gives me the creeps. I don't like David Lucas. I'm Are you glad. talking about the hit song from TLC, Creep? Yes. Right after uh, the Waterfall song. Um, yeah, who's playing every song? Who's messing that up? <laughs> Drink your bleach, Jolina. Uh Fucking awesome. So what else has how, been going how on? Are, how are y'all doing? I've missed y'all. What's going on? We're great, man. We're absolutely great. What uh, what county are you running for the alder alderman for? Uh, Davidson County. Where's that? Uh, it's outside of Nashville. So why would you run for county alderman of a place in Tennessee when you live in Los Angeles? It is a it's a logistical nightmare. It's a it's a deal I don't even really understand. 
Um, but I'm here. I'm, I'm, I've been dealing with it through the quarantine. Can I tell here? Do you want to hear my best one? Can I tell you that everything that you do is funnier with a thuggish black man over your shoulder? <laughs> oh, he's really it is good when he laughs. Laugh. <laughs> Checks out. They do that. Go ahead. Uh, you what's your, what's your new best, best joke? Policies? Let's hear it, this William. This is a policy. It's a pretty good one. Uh, if we're talking about episodes of the Twilight Zone, can someone please get me out of the one where I get on an airplane only to find out there's a fucking hairy monster on the wing of the plane that I'm flying on? Let's allocate some money to do some studies on these types of terrorists flying on the wings of our planes. I'm sick and tired of opening and shutting the window to the plane I'm flying on only to have a hairy monster on the fucking wing of the plane. Every time I open the window, I'm sorry. I wrote all this earlier. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was going to go really good. Um, it's I like the tag it's on not... the joke when the black guy in the background went like this. Yeah, that was the funniest yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he used the wrong finger, though. I think he meant to do this. <laughs> Orin, let's do another one. If we're, if we're still on the topic of practical jokes, am I the only one who's sick and tired of testing out binoculars? at the local sporting goods store only to find out some school-age kid put shoe polish on the fucking eye holes. I'm tired of testing out my binoculars on a Saturday afternoon only to find a couple of tourists putting shoe polish on the binoculars. It's like I'm living out one of my nightmares. Or do something. Have you been doing stuff? There it is. <laughs> yeah. Perfect, perfect. Man, Perfect. this is incredible. I love this new duo of you and Oren. Is there any chance of him replacing David Lucas on Brothers in Cursive? Yeah, I hope David's uh, <laughs> bad ass isn't watching right now. I'm sure he's not. But yeah, I think it's uh, going to be uh, me, you, and Oren, uh, Red Band, on, uh, on Wednesday. Are you cool with that? I know you don't really like blacks, but are you cool with, uh, <laughs> are you cool with that? I mean, did you buy a face mask yet? Because uh, we had to cancel last week's episode because you didn't have a face mask. You still don't own a face mask. Don't tell me that. I've had a hard fucking week. Don't tell me that. What's been so well, hard about your week? Why has your week been so movie, hard? I watched the movie The Fly the other night. When that fly got in the container with that actor and the actor started turning into a fly, I hate it. Or I hated it. <laughs> It was a nightmare situation. You're talking yeah, about it's been a hard week. You're talking about the great Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum, hell of a picture with Jeff Goldblum. Love it. Yeah, absolutely. Heck really yeah. good. Thumbs up. Really Look at good. that. We got a thumbs up thumbs from up. Oren. So, what are you and Oren's plans for the rest of the night? Are you gonna film a video of him having sex with your girlfriend, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> he, he ran away again. <laughs> It's like you're, you brought that time, up. Right? Yeah, you, that's awkward now. It's a little awkward now. They just met. It's a little. Is that awkward. why you? Is that why you're wearing those glasses so that it looks like a white? <laughs> so, so that it looks like Correct. a white guy yes. is having sex. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cool maybe it, it is. I love yeah, it. Cool it down. Hey, love it. William, you're outside right now, right? Yes, I am. Do your neighbors ever hear you talking about like, <laughs> like this stuff that you say, like people not liking blacks and stuff like that? Yeah, I actually got in trouble with her grandparents a couple nights ago. I was out here on Instagram Live at five in the morning, and it mm. uh, bothered her grandmother. So, I think I'm about to get kicked out of here. I don't know where the fuck I'm gonna go. That's why I've been on edge. Well, you know what they say, if there's any chance of you getting kicked out of your girlfriend's grandparents' place during a quarantine, nothing better to do than invite over your black friend, Oren. Yeah. All right, William, we love you. We'll see you next time. The great William right. Montgomery, everybody. There he goes. On to the next one we go. Time for a regular. You know him. You love him. It's William Montgomery. Here he is. Hello, William. How are you? I'm, I'm pretty good, sir. Oh, you're from like London, Canadian. too, as well, right? I'm from Australia. Oh, um, okay. Uh, Trail of Tears? No shit. Have you ever been to Oklahoma? I'd be crying, too. Can you imagine those Indian children asking, are we there yet? And the parents are like, shut the fuck up. We're in Pine Buff, Arkansas. 
was excited to finally see Roderick Howard's Apollo 13 last night. For those that don't know, he's the balding redheaded black film director. He also did the Da Vinci Code. Uh, I'm writing a Dracula movie starring Ron White. It's called Dracula's Back. The whole time is just Ron White saying, Drac's back, Jack, in different locations. Uh, I usually like to leave a pube on the toilet when I use a public restroom, just something I was brought up doing. That was probably my best joke, that last one. It's That's true. There he is, William Montgomery. How about that trail of tears joke? I felt good about that. You have to wait. You have to wait to talk. They're playing music right now. Go ahead, uh, William. What was that? How about that trail of tears joke? I was going to say, I, I even wrote that down. The only thing I wrote next to your name was trail of tears. So that I could tell you it was a good joke. Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Indeed. Now you're just saying key words. Drax back, Jack. Uh, That's right. I, I think you'll, you'll be proud of me. I've been walking a bunch this past week. Yeah, where you've been walking to? Uh, around a park. Yeah. What kind of park? Uh, it seems predominantly Hispanic. Uh-huh. You just walk around <laughs> by yourself? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I've had to put Vaseline in between my legs. I'm having bad chafing. I'm 225 now. My uh, upper legs are rubbing against each other. Can we, can we see that? Can you stand up? Can we get a full body view of you for a little bit? Yeah, have you started scabbing? We're a little bit concerned over here. Who said that? Don't worry about it. Okay, Hal, I'm just invisible. I, I, invisible's, invisible's fine. The quiet would be. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you are you have growths all over your body. Who's holding the phone? Hold on, put your arms down. Stand right there. Go back, go back, go back. Put your arms down. Your boobs are uneven, William. You look like a yam. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Yeah, the left one seems higher. Okay. This man is definitely suffering from diverticulitis. Look at that. You do have diverticulitis. Y'all see in this shot? That is Never incredible. Seen pink nipples, nipples oh, before? that's a sign of Lyme's disease for sure. You still have the open yeah, wound got Lyme's disease. in the middle of your yeah, belly? I got it. Is that a motorized bicycle I see in the background there? You're yep. Red Band's house? I've been riding it. I've been riding it to the Kmart. Yeah. What do you do at the Kmart? Steel shut. I go to the uh, fish section. It's like a uh, fish really section cheap... at Kmart. Yeah, it's like a cheap uh, aquarium. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of fish to steal? I thought it was fish Probably the band, like a CD section. <laughs> like catfish. Yeah, I'm, I've been going to the the Kmart with that. Um, also, my other friend, he has a gun normally. Oh, there he is. We met this young man last week. This is his new partner in crime. What's his name again? Oren. Oren, that's right. I love that. I love that you've been getting a little bit of culture in your life. You could say that. We've been eating chitlins and ribs and <laughs> asparagus and you name it. All. What are the greens called? Collard greens. We've been eating collard greens. I've been... Going to the Kmart, stealing fish. Man, if y'all haven't been to Kmart recently, I just, next time we can be at the comedy store together, y'all should see the aquarium I've been able to make in my, my house. Oh, that's awesome. What else have you and Oren been doing for fun? <laughs> um, gang banging in Reseda. Gang banging in Reseda. We've been finding Hispanic girls um, at that park. Yeah, how, um, Oren, how, how how have the fights been going? Do you usually win those fights against Hispanic women? Or <laughs> Orn ends up calling someone close to him. He's like, hey, I need to talk. And I go up behind the person on all fours, and then Orn pushes the person over me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is an interesting way of gangbanging in Reseda. People get hurt as shit. You should see how hard Orn uh, pushes people, and I'm right behind him just giggling the whole time that is just incredible um can i ask Oren a question actually 
Sure. Yeah. yeah. Oren, sure. uh, Oren, hello, and we, we thank you for being on the show. Uh, Thanks, what do Oren. you? Wh why do you like hanging around William? What is it about William that you like so much? When when you spend enough time in the dish pit with a guy in the trenches, you, you develop a a camaraderie, a, a brotherhood of sorts. And um, this one's not going to die anytime soon. We're going to go inside and do dishes after we're done here. Wow! Look oh, at that. oh, you guys are gay. <laughs> you guys are doing all the coolest things. William, Shut the fuck up. We used to wash dishes together. Yeah, I know what that means. Oh my goodness gracious! Wow. What, who? How do you guys uh, d decide who's going to do what kind of... Who does the drying and who does the washing? I'm the dryer. He's the dryer. I use a bunch of pine saw. Uh, we sort of use, laugh about it. You use pine um, saw on dishes? A lot of pine saw. I'm sort of the pine saw guy. Burns the dryer guy. It's, it's fun. It's sort of a, a match made in heaven. That is just perfect. I absolutely love your guys' relationship. Hey, Red Band, what's that dumbass face you're making right now? You think I can't fucking see you? Uh, I'm just looking for your eyebrows. Oh, shit. Oh, that's pretty oh. funny. Oh. Okay. Okay. Somebody call, call the burn. <laughs> burn unit right unit. Cause there's a Burn unit. A... I'm burned right now. William. Someone please call the burn unit. William, every... <laughs> Every week you, you, you ask for us to send you a poster that you could easily save on your phone or take a screenshot on your phone. Why do, how come you do not know how to do these simple tasks? How come no one sent me one this week? What really is going on with your eyebrows is the real question. It, it appears as if though there's a minimal amount of eyebrows there. Has Oren been plucking your eyebrows out? <laughs> Y'all should see my pubes right now. Well, why don't you show us, William? Go ahead. I think I think no, nope. no. Nope. This is a good time. Cut, cut. cut. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Forget it, William. Forget it. Forget it. Yeah, kidding. we're not gonna I'm be able to see it over the belly yeah. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You're my. I'm working on it, dude. I'm walking three miles a day, dude. No, I'm actually proud of you. You're walking around Hispanic parks. It's great. Yeah, that's great stuff, man. Hi, Carumba. Hi, Carumba, indeed. I love it, dude. I thought that was going to get a bunch of laughter. Red Band liked it. Red Band, you're so sweet. I really... How's your girlfriend doing? Your... How's your abusive girlfriend doing? She's good. I got uh, smacked in the face last night. I was doing something I shouldn't have done. I was making mac and cheese at 3 in the morning. Her grandparents are currently sick. I think Oren got him sick last week. So things are not good uh, in the suit right now. Uh, he hit me so hard in the ear last night, I couldn't hear correctly. It was a bad ringing in my ear. So I'm trying to play it cool today. All right. Well, you did a good job playing it cool. Indeed, William, we love you. We will see you next week. Thank you. Thanks, Oren, right. for being on the show. And uh, hell yeah. We'll see you guys. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. There goes William Montgomery, everyone.
Sid Rudy.